Hello everyone, my name is Raphael, and I got a quick tutorial for you today. Uh, pretty much, I'm going to teach you a little bit about the radio menus. A lot of people overlook this little feature right here that you see. And it's a, a shame, really, because I totally forgot to put the f E key back here. So give me a, give me a minute here. Alright, let's try this again. My name is Raphael, and I'm going to teach you about the radio menu today, which is this nifty little thing here made by Wacom and uh, pretty much you can assign any hotkey or function to any of these slices you see on the screen here so i have the brush tool i can switch to my eraser tool because i like that better than flipping my pen over and it also allows me to easily switch my eraser to other stuff and you know quickly just move stuff and change the size of it i got lasso tool uh, there it is and uh, can deselect stuff, get the marquee, whatever you want. You, you can do whatever your heart desires with this thing. So let me just show you how to set it up real quick. Easiest way to get to it, go to your start menu, type in Wacom, and you should see this right away, Wacom Tablet Properties. Just click on that, and let's pull it up. So you're going to go to Functions. If you're on an Intuos, I believe you're going to see radio menu right off the bat in one of these tabs but if you're on a Cintiq you're gonna go to on-screen controls and there it is radio menu so you can go here and just set the keystroke if you want to do a hockey so you say your key there if you messed up you can clear delete whatever and name it naming is good so you know what it does hit ok uh, I believe there are different functions you can zoom in zoom out show desktop anything so once you have that set up, you also need to set a key for the radio menu. You can use the buttons on the tablet uh, that are on the left. I believe they're called express keys. Me personally, I don't like the express keys too much. I have a keyboard to use hotkeys and I use the radio menu to assign hotkeys that I cannot easily access to. So pretty much my fingers stay on control, shift, alt, space bar, and Z. And I don't like to look at the keyboard. That's just me. So you can go here to your second button, and um, by default it's set to double click, which is stupid. And you could assign it one hotkey if you wanted, but hey, use the radio menu, you get eight hotkeys that way. So on-screen controls, uh, if you're on an Intuos, again, you might just see radio menu right here. But let's go on-screen controls, radio menu, and you're good. Look at that, you can just click to your heart's content, and that's pretty nice. Uh, cool thing about the radio menu, for at least the Cintiq 13 HD, and I'm sure this is true for all other Cintiqs as well. This little wrench pretty much brings you back to the tablet settings, and there it is. All right, everyone, I hope you found this video useful. I uh, hope you're gonna be able to put into practice. Uh, don't forget to comment. Please do subscribe so you can see more videos like this in the future. And thank you so much again. Adios, amigo.